Sierra. After you. Hmm, now this looks interesting. Come on. What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton. Or at least it's his head. Wow. Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the Pip-Boy. What are you doing here? This has to be a joke. You trespass in my private vault, in my office, in my amusement park, and you have the gall to treat me like some joke? Oh, what's the use? Look at me. Look at me! I'm a monster, trapped in a prison of my own making. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. When something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. You don't think I know that? You don't think I've contemplated my folly for decades on end? I do not need some interloper to remind me of my greatest tragedy. A... a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! There's got to be a better solution than killing you. That's easy for you to say, standing there on your own two legs, able to go where you wish and do what you want. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is, being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah, that's not happening. I want that experimental ammunition. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? 
So, have you made up your mind? What about Sierra's offer to keep you company? Wouldn't that help? I admit I'm flattered by her admiration. But I'm so tired. In ways that words could not explain. I've lived far too long already. And I'm prepared to move on. I await your decision. I'll do it. I'll shut off the power. Thank you. Now please do get on with it. I I'm ready. I've been ready for a long, long time. Can you imagine being trapped like that for centuries? Hi, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... What's your decision? I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! I commend your diligence. It can't have been easy to find your way in here. You can't know how wonderful a real conversation can be until you've gone without one for a few hundred years. Finally. Free. Excellent.